Hi everybody, welcome back to Armor Reforger and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a Armor Reforger dedicated local server on your local PC. So this is running on the same PC that you're playing Armor Reforger on. Um, now this is a single player server only. This isn't a video that shows you how to do it so that you can um, have other friends come in and play as well. In fact, the documentation that BI have published said that they don't support that at the moment, but there are videos on the internet that, that claim to show you how to do it. So you may well be saying, well, why would I want a local server when in fact I can jump into a local version of Games Master or even Conflict from within the game? And one of the reasons is that within Conflict, when you play it locally, you can't get access to the Games Master menu when you're within Conflict. Whereas if you run a local server or a remote server and you log in as admin, you do. So that means I can play single player uh, Conflict and spawn in stuff and just practice flying around in helicopters or having to go with the different weapons and the different vehicles and, and generally doing that sort of stuff, um, which, is, uh, which is pretty cool. So it's something that we may well have more ideas for for in the future um, so how do you do it well the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Steam and you want to go to your library and you want to make sure you've got the tool section clicked and you want to install armor reforger server and that will install it to your hard drive probably the same place that it installs it to um, uh, your armor reforger so for example this is my uh, Steam apps common Directory, and as you can see, there's DayZ, there's Armor Reforger, and it's installed Armor Reforger server right there. So if we click in it, now as it is, it will not work. You need to add a couple of files. We need to add a batch file, a .bat file that will fire up the server, and we need to have a config file that will tell the um, the server how to start. Very similar if you've run DayZ local servers, that sort of thing. It's how to do it. So what I have done to make this very very easy, I've created a GitHub repository with two example simple uh, files that will do this for you. And there's also a readme.tech that explains step by step how you do this. Um, so there's a conflict config.json, it's easy for me to say, and a conflict start.bat. I mean, these, these can be called anything. I mean, they could be called start.bat and config.json. But when you get into this in a little more depth, there may, will, may well be times where you want to have lots of different config. Um, files that will start your server in different scenarios with different mods or with different um, missions going on as well so it could be games master it could be uh, caption hold it could be you can do all these things by having different files so I've called mine conflict config.json and conflict start.bat so what you do is you click on the green code button download the zip and that will download the um, files to your local PC extract them or unzip them and have a good read of the readme text but basically what you end up doing is you copy the conflict config.json and the conflict start to the same uh, directory as uh, well your armor reforger server.exe is so you put it in here and then what you need to do is you need to open up the conflict start to the batch file in your favorite text editor and you need to make sure that that this entry here uh, the one that tells uh, the server where to look for the config file config file is correct now it probably will be unless you've installed this on a different drive for example a D drive and that will that will be wrong so you just change that so, so that it matches where the conflict config.json is also what you may want to do is if you go into the conflict config.json um, and you scroll down you'll see I've added a load of simple mods so there's better vehicles there's a helicopter there's some weapon mods there's bloodlust there's where am I you know some really simple ones that definitely work that won't overwhelm your server that you can play around with when you're in the server and have a little bit of fun but you can of course change these if you want mod IDs just go to the online armor reforger workshop and it lists all the mod IDs and lists uh, their names and lists their dependencies so the other mods that you need to install at the same time now once they are in place it's dead easy all you then do is uh, in fact if we go back to here is just double click on conflict start conflict start <laughs> and that will fire up your server and it will look something like this and it'll be chundering away then all you need to do then is if we come out of this I'll show you uh, 
Here we go. Then all you need to do is you go to multiplayer, you go to direct join, and you put in uh, 127.0.0.1. And that is telling it to join the local server. Again, that is in the README, that 127.0.0.1. So if you think you might forget it, then it's all written down. What is useful about doing this, about having a local server, is that all the time that the server is running, it is remembering where things are. Uh, not you as a player, because when you log out, your player, in effect, um, dies. Um, but you'll see that the uh, things I've spawned in earlier, they're all here and, and, and they're there. Um, just remember you will have to spawn things in manually. So if you've got modern items and you want to spawn them in to play, play with them, at the moment in conflict and the other game modes, you've got to kind of go, go into the spawn menu, uh, click on modded, and we could I don't know, spawn in one of them like that. We've got this cool little <laughs> semi-armoured vehicle <laughs> to play around with. So there we go, my friends. That is how you install a local server for Armour Reforger. Again, it's just single player. Um, and when you close the server down, it will forget everything. I, at the moment, I've been through the files and I can't see a config setting that will save the state of the server. So once you shut it down, it means that when it starts off, it starts off, you know, it blanks the, the scenario and puts everything back where it was and, and starts again. There may well be a way to do that. And if I do find out, I will do an update video. But until then, hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.